Are you facing network latency and high ping? In this video, I'll show you pro-level network optimizations to fix these issues, boosting speed, reducing latency, and stabilizing your connection. Stick around for the ultimate tweaks, and if you're new, don't forget to subscribe for more expert gaming tips. Frustrated with the lag and high ping while you play games, so that you need a gear a booster. This is the ultimate tool to lower your ping, boost stability, and give you zero lag. Pro players like Asian Jeff and Polarai to use it to stay ahead, so why not you? Download Gear Up Booster now from the link in the description and dominate every match. To get started with Gear Up Booster, download the tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your Ping C. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now, go to the Not tab, where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let GearUp automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to Automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using GearUp Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. In the first step, guys, we will turn off network throttling to ensure maximum bandwidth and a lag-free gaming experience. Depending on your network speed and usage, it can affect gameplay and lead to high ping and spikes. Open your search bar and type Registry Editor and run it as administrator. Copy the path from description and paste it here. Then hit Enter and Now. Here, double-click on Network Throttling Index and set its value to 8 times F. If you notice problems with network usage of background processes after this change, you can always change this value back to 10. In the next step, we will adjust Windows bandwidth. Search for Delivery Optimization Advanced Settings in Windows and open it. Scroll down to the Absolute Bandwidth section, which controls measured and unmeasured bandwidth. Start by restricting Windows Update Uploads. Check both boxes and drag the sliders all the way to the left. Then, set the monthly upload limit to the lowest possible value. Windows uses bandwidth in the background, leading to high ping and packet loss. By adjusting these settings, you free up more bandwidth for gaming. Also, check the box under Absolute Bandwidth and set background update bandwidth to 1 MB per second. For foreground updates, set what it to 5 MB per second to avoid interruptions while gaming. In the Percentage of Measured Bandwidth section, enable the limit for background downloads and set the slider to the lowest point. For foreground updates, set audit at 90% to ensure quick installations. These tweaks will improve your network for gaming by reducing unwanted activity. To enhance performance further, download and run TCP Optimizer. You can find it on my official website. Extract the folder and open TCP Optimizer. Select your active network adapter, move the slider to 100 plus Mbps, and click Custom to optimize your connection. Now, fine-tune TCP Optimizer by disabling auto-tuning and scaling heuristics. These features try to optimize network traffic dynamically but can sometimes introduce delays in gaming. Change the congestion control provider from Cubic to CTCP, Compound TCP to improve high-speed performance. Disable RSS receive side scaling and RSC receive segment coalescing to reduce unnecessary CPU load. Set time to live TTL to 64 for consistent network performance across different routers. Also turn off checksum offloading, chimney offload and large send offload, LSO, as these settings may cause instability. In the advanced section of TCP optimizer, set max connections per server to 10 to prevent connection overload while ensuring smooth data flow. Adjust max SYN retransmissions to 2 to minimize connection timeouts. Lastly, disable the network throttling index and set system responsiveness to gaming mode for optimal low latency performance. Then click apply to save the changes. Next, let's turn off notifications to cut down on background activity. Press the Windows key, type notifications in the search bar and open notification and action settings. Unless you really need notifications, I strongly suggest disabling them by unchecking all boxes. This will reduce unnecessary network usage, but if you rely on them, you can keep them on. Personally, I prefer turning them off because 
It prevents unnecessary internet load. I don't like pop-ups interrupting my game. Now, let's disable background apps. Press the Windows key, type background apps, and open the settings. This setting is on by default, which means many apps run unnecessarily in the background, consuming bandwidth and system resources. Unlike system services, which are crucial, background apps are mostly unnecessary. Ask yourself, do you really need the weather app running while gaming? Most of these apps are just slowing down your connection, so I recommend turning them off. Next, let's optimize your network adapter settings manually. Right-click the network icon in your taskbar and go to Network Settings. Navigate to Advanced Network Settings, then open More Network Adapter Options. Find your active connection, disable any unused connections, and open Properties. Choose either IPv4 or IPv6 based on what you use. Open its properties and optimize your DNS settings. Select the second option and open Command Prompt as an administrator. Run ping 8.8.8.8 for Google DNS and ping 1.1.1.1 for Cloudflare DNS. Whichever has the lowest ping, use it. If Cloudflare is faster, enter 1.1.1.1 as your primary DNS and 8.8.8.8 as the secondary. If Google performs better, enter 8.8.8.8 as your primary DNS and 1.1.1.1 as the secondary. This change can improve response times and minimize lag. Now let's tweak network adapter settings. Click Configure, go to the Power Management tab, and disable the option that allows Windows to turn off the device to save power. Then go to the Advanced tab and change these settings. Disable Adaptive Interframe Spacing, ARP Offload, and PME. Turn off Energy Efficient Ethernet if you have this option, and Flow Control. Set Gigabit Master Slave Mode and Gigabit Physical Mode to Auto Detect. Disable Interrupt Moderation and Moderation Rate to speed up packet processing. Turn off IPv4 Checksum Offload, Jumbo Packet, and Large Send Offload for IPv4 and IPv6. Set Receive Buffers to the highest value like 1024 or 2048. Enable Packet Priority and VLAN but disable PTP Hardware Timestamp. Set Speed and Duplex to Auto Negotiation or the highest full duplex. Disable TCP Checksum Offload and UDP Checksum Offload. Now click Apply and hit OK. Your network adapter may briefly disconnect but will reconnect with optimized settings, and that's it. These optimizations should help you reduce ping, boost connection stability, and improve your overall gaming experience. If this guide helped, hit the like button and subscribe for more optimization tips. See you in the next video.